jumping on the porch like mom's not home. not home. Tell me why the best things feel so wrong. So Summer nights, love them how they take so long. So long. What's up, guys? It's Josh, and we're back again with another video. Like I said in the last video, it's been a little while since I posted any major videos or updated you guys on what's been happening. So I thought I would make this video. All right, the last three weeks have been really busy and hectic, but I've had the opportunity to do a lot of cool things. So I think the last time we talked was about the week before fall break. So I guess I'll start there. So at Yale, you get three days off for fall break right in about the middle of October, which is really nice because it's right after your first set of midterms. So you get a little bit of a mental break but it's also only like five days total, so it's not enough time to really go home or for it to be worth it. So a couple guys on my floor and I decided that we would take the train down to New York and uh, split a hotel for a couple of days. We had a really great time, got to do a lot of stuff. One of my friends had uh, never been before, so we got to do a lot of the touristy things that you do when it's your first time in New York. Although it was really nice to like break the stress from school and everything, give yourself a little bit of a mental break. Uh, I feel like the best part was definitely the food just not having to eat dining hall food for every meal being able to go out in new york and just choose a restaurant and like eat some really amazing food hands down best part i actually made a whole video about what i did on fall break and it'll be up on the channel hopefully sometime this week um i'm taking a little longer to edit that one to make sure it's really good of course fall break eventually ended and that meant that i had to get my nose back on the grindstone and get some work done that whole next week was the week leading up to halloween so i mean there was some there's some spooky stuff going on had a lot of cool stuff in TD. We had a little like pumpkin carving session in the courtyard. And that whole week was just all the events leading up to Halloween. Halloween was definitely fun. Um, the first night, me and my whole suite, we all dressed up as Santa. Yeah, that was that was quite interesting. Um, and then the second night, I think I went as like Clark Kent. Uh, I went over to Pearson College. They had they have like an annual Halloween dance every year. So that was a good time. Overall, Halloween. Success. Following Monday, I went to go see one of the members of the Magic Society perform. He was actually having like a one-man show in one of the secret libraries on old campus in Bingham Hall. It was a really great show. He did a really good job putting it all on by himself. Actually, the guy that performed, he was one of the members of the Magic Society who has been on the hit TV show Penn and Teller Fool Us. So I don't know if you guys are familiar with that show, but he was on it when he was 14. So really great magician, really great guy. I look forward to working with him over the next couple years. The next night is definitely considered the highlight of Halloween at Yale, and that is the Yale Symphony Orchestra Halloween show. For those of you who don't know, the YSO spends all the fall making a silent short film, and then Halloween night at midnight, everyone packs into Woolsey Hall. I mean, I'm talking everyone. Like, the tickets for these shows sell out in like two minutes. That's how many people want to go see it. So everyone packs into Woolsey Hall, which is the big like auditorium like music hall on campus. Um, and what they do is they project the movie onto the screen above the orchestra and then the orchestra plays like the music to go along with the movie since it's obviously a silent film. Um, this year's was amazing. Apparently it's one of the best shows that's happened in the last couple years and I'm really glad it got to be my first one. Only at Yale do students get so excited for a silent film and classical music at midnight on Halloween. But I also forgot to mention that before the YSO show uh, me and a couple of friends actually went across the street to Silliman and they had their annual haunted house and the Silliman had a college house. So that was, that was really cool. So the rest of the week was really busy catching up on all the stuff I had missed because I was having too much fun during Halloween. And then I also had to get started on all the work for the next week because that next weekend was family weekend. I knew I'd be spending a lot of time with my family as well as prepping for the Magic Society's annual family weekend show. Yeah, it got to the point where like the four days leading up to the magic show, we were practicing like three hours a night from like 9 p.m. past midnight, just trying to get our routines down and getting the flow of the show. It was insane, but very worth it. Our show went awesome. Uh, we did a performance Saturday night and Sunday night. Feel free to check it out on the Yale Magic Society's YouTube channel. I think I uploaded the whole show to the channel, so you could literally watch the whole thing if you wanted to. And then obviously it was family weekend, so I got to show my family around campus. It was good to see them since it's been like two and a half months now. Um, and then they also got to go see me perform in the magic show. So overall, really great weekend. Now this whole last week has been spent preparing for my second round of midterms. I had physics last week, and then uh, I have my math one this coming week. So I'm trying to get a lot of that work done now because this weekend is not only Thanksgiving break, but on Saturday is the Harvard-Yale game. 
and I am pumped because uh, I have a couple friends from Harvard that I haven't seen in forever. Going to get to see them. And then overall, it's just it's just going to be a great experience. And of course, Yale is the Ivy League champions in football, so we better beat hard. All right, I think that's most of the big things that have happened over the last couple weeks. If you guys have any questions, concerns, or suggestions, just leave them down in the comments below. Uh, I'd love to hear from you. If you enjoyed the video, consider dropping a like. It helps a lot more than you think. And if you're new to the channel, if this is your, the first video that you've seen, uh, consider subscribing. Um, it'll be fun. You won't regret it. As always, I'll be back again in a couple of days with another video. Soon.